hi welcome to an nx12 video tutorial and it's again about planes i've already prepared something and in nx as in katia you have a whole lot more of options to do reference elements like points lines and planes so let's have fun with nx12 so NX provides a whole lot of options for datum planes. Many, many more than all the other programs, and I think even more than Katia, at least in my opinion. So let's go for a datum plane. You could always go for inferred, which means the program will try to help you and decide for you what kind of plane you want to do. So you could try to select a point or three points, a point and a line or two lines, and the program will try to adjust to your selection. One important thing with datum planes or many other commands and elements in Siemens NX is this setting. So usually the default is checked, which means all those elements are associative. And usually you want them to be associative so if you would uncheck this you would get sort of isolated element and again take care if you uncheck this it will be unchecked the next time when you use that command so always make sure it's the way you want it to be okay if i go for inferred let's go for let's say that line and maybe that point you could you would get a plane which goes through that line and through that point okay let's apply this one if i go for two planes click and the other one so i would get a bisecting plane or you even could try to use an alternate solution yeah. because of one angle here and of course another angle if you extend this and extend that you would have an angle right there as well a complementary angle really great so let's cancel this out now of course you have the same options as in on shape and in vendor so you could go for one on curve i would select that spline and then i can control the position of that plane on that spline you have percentage of arc length or the arc length or three points so we'll go for percentage of arc length so you could go for a zero it would be at the beginning or for 100 percent it would be at the end or you could go for 50 and it would be right in the middle of that curve let's apply this one of course you can do one through points curve and points let's see go for curve and points and you have a subtype now it's for three points you could go for one point two points point and curve axis point and plane face so i go for three points one point two points and you could of course choose the end point of another curve like this one and apply mid plane i got already the mid plane one with an angle so go for at angle choose an axis or a line so we'll go for let's say this axis but first we have to select a reference plane maybe this one then select a line or an axis so this would be this one and then you can do a plane with an angle around that axis and you could control this angle of course yeah let's go for maybe what do we have let's go for point and direction 
that's one I really use often so I could go for a point and then choose one of the axes with the Orient Express or I should be able to choose a plane as direction which means it would go normal to that plane yeah. and you always have the possibility to create the elements you need on the fly with that point dialog or with that vector dialog so this command and that tool for reference elements in Siemens MX is really really quite good I will leave it right here and you could of course try all the other options one very nice exercise for reference elements in example datum planes points and lines are 6.4 the bearing block and 6.7 the Langenverkettungsblock which I did for an X and Katir. So you might try to take a look there as well. So hope you enjoyed this short one. If you liked it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook head fan page. Would be very nice of you. I want to get more subscription subscriptions and likes over there as well. So thanks for watching. See you to the next one, which will be the last one. Katia V5. And bye bye.